Oh, can you hear me now? Your mic wasn't on. Can you hear me now? Some hours today. Right, I'm just gonna do a post of Facebook and then we'll get cracking. Welcome Toby to the stream. Glad you're here. Done. Ready to start now. Posters up. Let's begin. Everything's running. Stream bots on. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Can everybody hear me? This should be a, quite a short stream today because it's the coupage. I've had to do a bit of prep because of drying times. But um, yeah, it might be pretty quick because it, it's like 30 minutes in between each layer. But we'll see how far we get. Yeah, you can hear me. Hi, Angie Pud, welcome back. We are decoupaging, and I know it says decoupage, or that's how you're supposed to say it, but I like to say decoupage, because that's how I always say it. Right, the book. This is the book. This is what I've been using. This is quite old school bookage, vintage, what I would like to say. It's, it's not a vintage book, but it, it, I like to, it gives the impression that it is and this is what I'm gonna cut some pieces out of to do as a first layer so as you can see it's just this is a suede shoe this is my friend's shoe she get passed me the uh, shoes yesterday uh, I've known my friend for 25 years roughly around 25 years so the fact that she's came to me to give to let me do her wedding shoes is quite humbling and no pressure so yeah I'm gonna be making her shoes today she's gonna be watching the stream so everybody say hi Stacey right let's get cracking so I need to start cutting some pieces up from this book Right. 
So I'm going to be using a range of glues. You can use Mod Podge or Decupatch or Decu Decupatch, I don't know. Glue. I even have an Alice shoe kit for this for those who didn't want to source the stuff. But if you wanted to get the item, um, it's in the link is in the description on my post. For any of those who can't make the live stream, I'm going to watch this back. I'm just going to update you on the stream schedule on my post that I put up yesterday. Um, I've run into problems with some of the supplies turning up. So, for example, I have shoe, um, not shoes, items coming from Australia and Canada that's taken some time to get to me. So, for example, one item in particular is up to a month for the one from Canada is just taking too long to get here now if I was still doing made to order shoes it, that wouldn't be a problem because I have I can do a process time for six to eight weeks so I wouldn't be worried but because I'm doing streams every two to three days I have to plan those streams so it obviously Things not turning up to the, in the post is an issue. So I have to plan far ahead. I'm always buying stuff anyway. But obviously time, trying to manage the time can be difficult when you're streaming every two to three days. So for that reason, because I'm doing two shoe streams a week, I might have to swap one out for a game stream. This is why I have the games as a backup. But those game streams, I need as content anyway, because I use the gameplay in the background for my more entertaining shoe craft videos. So it all comes handy anyway. Hey Billy, how are you? How are you doing today? So yeah, I'm facing some time and postage issues. Oh, and the adventure begins again. <laughs> Toby! I'm good, thanks on yourself. I am good. I'm just, just explaining about my stream schedule. Still gonna keep it Tuesdays and Fridays. I just might have to every now and again swap a shoe stream out for a game stream. Based on how my supplies and everything turns up. It's just a bit of a pain. Not nothing to do about it though. But never mind. I'm glad you've made a street a live stream, Toby. So on the curves, I am just snipping so I can get the paper around. So that you can see. So that allows me to flatten it. I don't have to be as neat with the first layer, but I do have to be extremely neat with the second layer. Because this is just the base. I don't think I've caught one of your game streams yet. I tend to do them all in one day, so I can prep. So I like do two streams a week, Tuesdays and Fridays, but I do it all in one day, so I can get organized for the next stream. 
and I do it on a rotation. But yeah, so after this stream, I'll do medieval. But speaking of gaming, once I've finished medieval, it's straight into CTR Crash Team Racing, and that's a game I know. I can play that game. I don't know medieval. <laughs> I'm, I'm winging medieval. <laughs> I need Sonya's help for medieval. I can't wait for the new one that's coming out this year. I can't wait. I'm hoping to do a video just like the Spyro Heels, but with my Crash Team racing gameplay in the background, that's what I'm hoping to do. So I need to get the gameplay started for that ASAP. So I'm hoping to get further on Medieval today because I know I'm getting close to the end of it. I'm like in the last quarter, I think. Sing from daycare now. Oh, okay. See you in a bit, Dragonies. So at the moment, we are. Remember, this bit doesn't have to be as neat because we're gonna. Once that's dry, we're gonna cut and trim. I have ordered another clamp, a desk clamp. I have a second camera. I'm going to um, attach the second clamp and have a second camera so you can see close-ups eventually. But that's another thing I'm waiting for in the post. If you're still here. tricky because I have to cut multiple paint places so I'm just going to trim pieces on the second layer to cover those lines.
Sunday. Um, I may. <laughs> Depends if I end up drinking or not since it's Friday. Drink on stream. Drunken streams. Timmy does it. I end up too drunk. We need to see you game face cam. We have to now, Billy. I end up not being able to play properly. Not all about those sniping shots, you know. I'm too camera shy. Don't be shy. Gotta show yourself on camera. Right, so that's now nice and flat. Plus my camera is been great. I've only got a webcam at the moment, not the best quality. Doesn't matter. As long as you're having fun. Message. I vote for Billy Cam. I don't know how I might do, we'll see. Good! Be cool to see. Of course, it was nice to catch you live stream of yours anyway. I joined Mixer just to join, <laughs> join in on the chat. Right. 
So that is how it's supposed to look at the moment. I just have this side to go. And then I'm going to move on to all the images, which you'll see in a sec. Because I've actually already prepped one layer. So you'll see all the pretty Alice images.
Gotta go do some shopping so I'll catch you in the Discord back. Okay, let's catch you again. See you later. Gotta go to school and run, watch the best later. Okay, catch you again, Angie. Bye. Right, this is the first bit. It's meant to look this way, for those who don't realise. This is how the first layer is meant to look. I can't trim the rest of that because it's too wet. So what I've done for the stream is I've prepped the other shoe. So I'm blue petering this again and doing a, look what I did earlier. <laughs> So this one's already dry, which means we can go into the next bit straight away. So I've trimmed around and cut around the edges. And I've also glittered, because I it was requested that I show some of the sealant, so I'm gonna show the sealant process on stream this time today. So we're gonna see that as well. So now, images, and I have to be very neat with this section, because this is what my technique of decoupage is. I have a different method to other people. So I don't always keep the brighten exposed. I always I leave, I leave little bits to show. So I like to have the images fully shown. So, Next bit. Images now. Let's look at the images. Hey, clock, how are you? My mad clock, look. Images. You've just arrived at the best part. We're about to add some images. Yeah, I'll cook the best out in a bit. There's walls. So let's have a bit of Alice. No, actually, I'm going some more. Whoop, whoop.
open box for them. I'm I'm commuting so I thought I'd pop in. Thanks for popping in. There's another one. There's ours. There's some more else. Been having a nose around Twitch, I feel old. <laughs> yeah, welcome to Twitch Clock. Right, so this is what I start mapping the the images around and make them fit. So, in order to get them to go around the curves, I cut into the images, and that's how I make along the lines of the print, and that's how, what makes them come across as seamless and not. Bent. So I'm now, so there's, there's this image, I don't know if you can see. So I'm going to cut along this tree and my cut into her dress from here and up the skirt to make it bent. So you won't notice there's lines when I put it on. I'm just going along the right. I can't cut along the dress. I'm gonna to have to go along the shadow. So what I've done, see that? I've just cut along the trees, and it's still seamless. Right. I have that one framed on my wall. Wow. For those who don't know, Clark's and Alice fan. Yeah, it's this. It's this lay. I have to be extremely neat on. So this is the underlayer that's not neat. And this top layer has to be neat. If that makes sense. And if they can't tell, can do spirit. Hatchling and I are home now. Hello, Hatchling! Oh, but I get on. Get the necklace on. Right. I want another small image on that curve. I think they're too big for me. Dragonese Mad Cobbler is Clark. Make 
call it lock. <laughs> She's just as mad as I am. Too big. I definitely can't fit him in. But the horse, the chest piece, I can. Dragonfly. Humpty Dumpty. Necklace noticed. Yeah, I'm wearing it. <laughs> I didn't say I'll wear it on the stream. No, tell a lie. It's re it's printed on recycled paper, which is I think is pretty cool. Ugh. I'll make another one. I'm just checking. I don't have any more small like, images for ours. There's one more. There's the Griffin. Forget about the griffin. This one here. Oh, the sun, yeah, okay. Griffin got a lock now. Do it. Right, okay. I forgot I've got these as well. I've 
certeza, gente. Hey, smaller images, okay. Boom, baby. We're in business now. Right. Let's have the rabbit. They're still making these books. It's just the type of paper they're printing it on. that all you'll be so rich. I wouldn't have cussed it up if it was old. No way. I wouldn't do that to a book. Well, but at least the book gets a good afterlife. <laughs> yeah. Hatchling is so mesmerised so much that she forgets to close her mouth while watching. Oh, I hope she's enjoying herself. Hope you're having fun. Do you fit there? Yes, you do. I love adding all the images. It's like trying to map what bit fits best. It's honestly quite fun. And because all the shoe shapes are different, it's like, okay, that's cool. So you go a little bit further up. You might go there. Yes, you do.
Then I'm going to go play. I might just take that one off because it's different to the left. I need a smaller image. Where's the animals? Alison Stout just subscribed to me. That's gonna be on YouTube. It's definitely on YouTube. Let's check. It was. Whoa. It is. It's on YouTube. Thank you for subbing to me, Alison Stout. I appreciate it. Oh, you gotta go paint now and possibly catch you in a bit. Okay, see you, Clark. Bye. Yeah, cool. I have definitely gone past this little bit of fitness. No, that won't fit either. No. Madame Papa Dragon Easy. <laughs>
Fujus and capsules. What happened there? <laughs> the Queen of Hearts will have you. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Ah, oh, it's perfect with that one. I bring hype. The images are starting to come along now. Bring that down. Is that right? Hang on. So the images are all starting to line up now. We here in Wonderland and chill, folks. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Next bit. This is the most difficult part. So I need my prop. Make sure this is stuck. Large images. Oh, that's the, you, you, you're in the way. What's up? You're by the wire. Okay, you're getting in. Come on. You're gonna sleep by me too. Large image now. Need a nice big one at the back. Load of lines. So this one's going to be pretty tricky because it's full of curve. So I've got to put quite a few lines strategically in. He is being a ball of cuteness. He's not been good this morning. Not sick, but like misbehaving. So you won't settle with it.
Kiste. That was definitely the hardest part. Keep licking it, you don't get what you want when you're licking. No, it's not how it works, buddy. And what are you doing? making sure you've cut enough lines so everything folds under it. What you don't want to do is just stick an image on and it bends. And it's done. And now it's seamless. So what's happened is I cut a load of lines into the image, into the print, and as I was 
putting it around the curve of the shoe, those lines were all folding underneath each other. So when it's stuck on, it, it's all seamless. The print folds on itself, so that it leaves no bend in the image. And it gives you a seamless image. And that's how you get it around a curve. Got a little bit of a curve to go here. Our daughter just said she wants to be a shoemaker when she grows up. Oh, that is so sweet. She can. She can be anything she wants to be. I'm glad it inspires her. It's really heartwarming. Hopefully she'll learn a few things from this.
Right, Tweedledee and Tweedledum are now on the shoe. And around the curve. Right, let's get Bill the Lizard on. Bill! Get them on. I guess we'll see in about 10 years from now. <laughs> okay, so we've got Tweedledee, Tweedledum, Bill the Lizard, Alice. We've also got the chest pieces on. We've got the mouse. Right. Now for the awkward little front bit. That rabbit, the March hair, will fit in nicely at the front bit. Time for a rabbit. Again, because the front is so curvy, I have to cut along the lines of the print. By the age of 15, the year we turn 15, Finnish people will be choosing what they are going to go study. Some will head to high school, some to vocational school, some take the 10th grade, and some will do not for a year. Sounds similar to what we do, where we get options here in the UK, where we choose what we want to study. It's interesting though, you're always telling us fiendish things, Dragonese. <laughs> Dragging the fat bomber. You are, you are, um, dragging the the fat fiend. You really are. <laughs> Always dropping facts on us. <laughs> We're always learning from you, Dragonese. I can hear you. 
coming in search of pasta. You're making me hungry now. Andy, what are you doing? This is almost done now. I've only got like two more images to add. on the shoe. We have a march here. We have a rabbit. Longer. You said, no, I know, I know. Can't settle today, can you? Right. Can you piss on the Queen of Hearts? Let's piss on the Queen. What's that? Let's put the Queen on. I might be able to piss her on. Yeah. Can you just sit, please, buddy? So I've got to go to the store again after dinner anyway. <laughs> Probably going to be the last image.
on the stone. So, all the main images are on. So I'm just gonna slow, 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 slow. So obviously I've got to trim when it's dry. All right, I'm coming in, Dion. Hold on. I'm coming in, Dion. So all the images are on. Oh, look this over. I'm coming in, Dion. So I built the lizard that's under there. And everything fits in perfectly. Oh, I'll be back in a sec, I need to sort in the Indy Spee, hang on. I'm coming now, hang on. Be right back, I'm just gonna sort in the out. I might have to move quickly. Um, she was done, right? Obviously, I'm gonna have to trim whilst that's drying. So, what I'm gonna do is in between the gaps, some gaps need filling. And what I do is I fill those gaps with little images. So, I cut into the images. So, for example, there's the Cheshire cat. Cheshire cat is sitting there in the corner. So I will cut him out, he's very little, and I will fill the gap, just like this. But you can only fill the little gaps in after you've mapped the big images. And that will cover up any little unneed parts from the first layer. If that makes sense. So whilst we're here, I don't think there's much to be covered in those caps. I think there's only two or three. I might need to do them dead quick. I think I'll do them dead quick and then I'm going to seal the glitter and end the stream. What time are we? Yeah, I'll do them dead quick. So I'm going to use the little animal heads because they're quite small. And then I'm going to end the stream after that, after sealing the glitter. So let's use the eagles. Indy, you've got to settle, buddy. My dogs are getting restless now.
two more to go. When that's dry, I will trim it. So what I'm going to quickly do now, oh, I'm intrigued, are you going to put them in some clear varnish or something? As if they're used outdoors. Yes, I am. The same for, um, sealant I'm going to use on the glitter now is what I'm going to use for the decoupage as well. But I obviously can't put it on with it being still wet. But I'm going to, because this is dry, I'm going to show you what it is now. So here's what I'm going to do, let's just move all this out the way, I'll show you the last part, because obviously I can't completely finish the shoes because we'll, otherwise we'll be here and for most of the day, or at least half the day, because it takes time for it to dry, so I need a new, I actually need a new um, brush, hang on a sec. Watching me in the right this stuff. This was requested by Emma. She inboxed me asking if I would seal glitter on stream. We're sealing glitter today, Emma. So I need to shake this so it can pull up. So this stuff. We're sealing glitter today. So now I'm gonna seal this. I'm just pouring it into the lid because I don't need to pour it into a cup. And all I'm going to do is take my brush, not too much because I found on dark glitter, if you put too much on, it'll just dry that colour. You don't want it to be. You just want to be practically naked to the eye so you can't see it. Like, I can't see that on the brush. It just Best looks wet. So that's what you want. and very, very lightly seal it with the brush. 
So I am just brushing it on very thinly. And he's like, oh, I thought that mum was going to come out. <laughs> I think they're fed up with me not ignoring them now, aren't you? Yeah. They're just waiting for me to go play with them now. There's a particular order I do the decoupaging. So obviously you do the, the first layer, then you do the picture layer. Then you do the glitter when everything's dry, obviously for streaming. And because I know what I'm doing, I've done it in the in a wrong order. So I could show you guys what it will look like. But if you're gonna do it yourself, be practical and let each bit dry. And that's it, glitter sealed. And obviously when the decoupage is dry, I will use this stuff as well to seal it very lightly. And that's it, we are done. And I will release video footage of the shoes completed when they are fully dry and done properly. Because obviously I've got to trim. But here we are, Vintage Alice and Navy Blue. Obviously that looks brighter because I've just sealed it, but it is navy blue in real life. Obviously camera filters. So here we are, Vintage Alice. And I'm gonna leave it there. I am gonna go get something to eat and I'm gonna be back for medieval. I am hoping to get really far on the game today and not get stuck in the forest. I'm out the forest now, thank God. So hopefully, I will finish the game in the next few days, fingers crossed. So thank you for watching and tuning in. I hope you all have a lovely weekend if I don't catch you. And I will um, see you again. I'll say goodbye for now. Request fulfilled, that is indeed, yes. Mission complete. I'll see you all again, bye.